today we're going to be talking about A plus certification. Is it worth it in 2020? Can you get a job on the market? And are employers even interested in this certification? Welcome back to this channel. My name is Tanai. My goal for this channel is to be a resource for those that are starting their journey in the network industry through tutorials, course reviews, tips and guides, just like this one. If any of these interest you, I would like to invite you to subscribe. It will go a long way towards supporting this channel and making sure that you never miss out. Right, let's get to the topic of the day. Today we're going to be looking at CompTIA A+. Is it worth it in 2020? Are employers even looking for that certification? And what kind of job can you get with your qualification? So in order for us to answer these questions, I'm going to approach this from four perspectives. Course content, job market, past experience, and value for money. So please stick around until the end. Let's take a look. Number one, course content. What is covered in the course? For those of you who are not aware, a plus is a CompTIA certification that focuses on PC maintenance. The two focal domains are hardware and software. So some of the key topics that are covered in the course include networking, where you look at things like IP addressing, subnet masks, DHCP. You look at the different cables that are used to connect a network together, such as UTP, fiber. You look at the different connectors, uh, such as RJ45, SC and LC on the fiber side. And then on the software side, you're going to be looking at Pixie Boot, registry, group policy, setting up your computer on the domain, and uh, backups and snapshots. So from a content perspective, the, there is no course on the market that basically covers as much technical knowledge as A plus certification. So if you're starting your journey in the IT industry, I would recommend that you start with A+, because the knowledge that you're going to acquire in that certification is going to be relevant uh, as you progress towards your career in IT. Number two, job market. Let's face it, one of the primary reasons for pursuing a certification is to get a job. Most of the IT jobs in the market are at entry level with positions such as help desk, service desk analyst, computer technician, L1, all which require A plus in order for you to succeed. Am I saying that you need A plus in order to get an entry level job? Maybe not, but there is no denying that A plus will open up significant doors for you. So the second subcategory is HR systems. Companies use application tracking systems to automate the application process. And one of the most sought after qualifications at entry level IT positions is A+. So if you have it on your resume, there's a higher chance that your CV will be picked up by the system, giving you a greater chance of you getting a job. Check out our video on application tracking systems to learn more. In countries such as the United States of America, CompTIA certifications are a requirement in order for you to get a job in IT with the government. According to the Department of Defense, uh, Charter 8140 and 8570, CompTIA certifications such as A+, are a prerequisite for one to be able to work in the government as an IT technician, as shown on the screen. So this endorsement by the US government in the A+, certification, basically serves as a vote of confidence of the content that is covered in the course and the value that it will add in your career. Now, for most entry-level jobs in the market, you're going to be competing with graduates that are coming out of university. So if you don't have a qualification to showcase your skills, it's going to be challenging to get a job. And acquiring your a certification is going to help you to be able to demonstrate the capacity and the capability of what you're able to deliver when you get into the workforce. Number three, background and experience. Should you get your A plus certification? 
it depends on your experience. If you've worked with computers in the past and you're comfortable with things such as formatting hard drives, installing operating systems, uh, building a PC from scratch, configuring IP addresses, uh, doing backups, snapshots, dealing with virtualization, then A plus might not necessarily be the course that's ideal for you. But if you are not confident or you've got zero experience on the things that I've mentioned, then I would suggest and recommend that you start your journey with your A plus certification because it's going to give you the fundamental knowledge that is going to be necessary for you regardless of which area of expertise you choose to specialize in. Number four, value. Majority of the content that you're going to cover in your A plus certification is going to be relevant for you. You see, when you cover A plus, you're going to be looking at things like uh, PC hardware. You're going to be looking at operating systems. And regardless of which area you choose to pursue, systems administration, networking, security, you're always going to be dealing with computers. And that knowledge is going to carry with you throughout your career. I did my A plus certification about 19 to 20 years back. I've been in the IT industry, not for so long, but long enough to have encountered P1s and P2s. And if you don't know what a P1 and P2 is, you'll find out with time. At the time of the recording of this video, uh, we basically going through the COVID-19 pandemic. And most people have basically lost their jobs. And sometimes you might specialize in a particular area, but when there are no jobs in the market, it's easy for you to fall back on the service desk roles because of your knowledge that you'd have acquired in your A plus certification. So should you pursue A plus in 2020? We have seen that it is one of the most sought after certifications. We have also noted that in the US, it is a prerequisite in order for you to get a government job which is an added bonus. We've also learned that it will set you apart when you apply for jobs, giving you an edge in a market that is saturated. A plus certification is value for money in 2020 if you're starting your journey in the IT industry. The benefits outweigh the negatives. And in my own opinion, I think you need to get certified if you haven't acquired your A plus certification. Thank you for viewing and I'll see you in the next one.